Yo, 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 what's good with it, y'all? It's your boy Lamborghini Preem back once again talking this boxing shit. And as always, make sure you check out my all new album, It's My Turn, The Throne Ascension LP. It's a motherfucking classic all the way around. And if you appreciate G shit, you're going to appreciate me. You can check it out right now or anytime, you know, you so choose on my official website, hustlegameboss.com. And it's also available on iTunes, Spotify, Apple Music, Google Play, Pandora. Shout out to Pandora and big shout out to Title. It's also on Title. Um, YouTube, uh, literally anywhere music is found, you can find my records. All you got to do is search the Supreme General, you know what I'm saying, and all my, my whole collection will appear. Also, you can uh, get your official Supreme General merchandise. Anytime you feel like it, <laughs> at uh, my official site, also hustlegameboss.com forward slash shop. That's hustlegameboss.com forward slash shop. You can cop yourself anything, all all things supreme, you know what I mean? Get you some, you know what I mean? If I see you cop some and you post a picture of it or something and I see it, I'm definitely going to make sure I show you some love and shout you out for doing that because I definitely appreciate all those who appreciate me. And with that being said, we on to the video. Now the topic of this one right here is um it's gonna be somewhat controversial, but not really. You know, if you're a Keith Thurman fan, this can't be too controversial for you. This is um it just is what it is, man. And uh I'm just gonna get right to it, man. You got a lot of people out here calling Keith Thurman a coward, you know, insinuating that Keith Thurman is afraid of Errol Spence Jr. and basically every other top welterweight and you know he's he has been doing some fuck shit that seems to corroborate that you know so I can't knock him for saying that me personally I will not go that far and call this man a bum because right now he is the unified welterweight champion of the world he is in my top 10 pound for pound and Keith Thurman has earned his shit Regardless of the fuck shit that he doing, he earned his spot, man. He didn't get, it wasn't given to him. He had to earn this shit, you know. So I got a lot of respect for Keith, even in lieu of this fuck shit that he doing. Now, with that being said, I got to tell the truth, man. I love Keith Thurman. I got respect for the man, but he out here doing some whole shit. This is whole shit. You know what I mean? You got motherfuckers guessing and you playing games with the belts and shit. That's the only part of the situation I don't like is the exorbitant amount of time that it has taken from one fight to the next. Now, I personally do believe that Keith Thurman is injured in some way, or at least he was injured in some kind of way. You know what I mean? You don't do all this fuck shit just because, you know, I mean, it's something going on behind the scenes that everybody's not privy to. And for a guy who worked that hard to just give away his belt like that, I just... It better be some shit <laughs> popping off behind the scenes that we don't necessarily know about or aren't privy to. But um, my honest opinion is that it's a, it's a combination of a few things why Keith Thurman is moving the way that he's moving now. It's um the first thing being yeah the first thing being I I do believe he's recovering from an injury and I believe the injury was way more severe than it was ever reported. I don't know what injury that could be. I don't know if it's uh, anything. I mean, I can't put it into words like that, but I feel like he was injured. And plus, the rhetoric that Angel Garcia has been spewing lately when it comes to Keith Thurman, the shit that he's saying, man, it just makes sense. He was like, yo, Thurman finished. Thurman finished. He injured. He finished out here. And I'm like, man, like everybody think Angel crazy. Yeah? Angel is a little crazy here and there, but that motherfucker ain't stupid, though. He know what the fuck he talking about. <laughs> something wrong with Keith Thurman man I bet the house something is wrong with Keith Thurman man that's my honest opinion I just don't think he would be moving like this if it wasn't something wrong you know I mean uh, is it the injuries he's saying I doubt it but I do believe that he's it's, it's some shit going on man he had to really really recover from you know what I mean he might have got he might have really got hurt in that Garcia fight more than we thought you know I mean, that's a very real possibility, man. Like I told y'all, Danny Garcia punch. He got he got pop in that punch, man. He is not no pushover, and he's a big boy. Danny Garcia is really a 154 pounder masquerading as a 147, and at, at, at an earlier point in his career, 140 fighter. 
You know what I'm saying? He is a huge guy, man. He never gets credit for this kind of shit because of the opposition that he usually chooses. And, you know, that's that's the good. You got to take the good with the bad, man. You, you choose some fuck niggas. Well, not some fuck niggas, but you choose some competition that's way below you. And people are going to, they're going to do things like this. They're going to nitpick. They're not going to give you your credit. Things like that. But um, this upcoming fight with him and Sean Porter should tell us a lot. But uh, as far as Keith Thurman go, man, I believe he's hiding a heavy injury, man. And I do believe that Thurman may be two or three fights away from retiring. I really don't see him uh, becoming undisputed. I don't even see him fighting. I see him fighting another high-level opponent, but I don't think it'd be Errol Spence or Terrence Crawford. I believe Keith Thurman probably come back, fight either Sean Porter or Danny Garcia. The winner of that fight, he's going to fight. He's going to fight maybe a tune-up before then, maybe even two tune-ups before then. But I don't think he can get away with two. He can get away with one, but maybe not two. One tune-up, and then he's going to fight the winner, Danny Garcia, Sean Porter, and then maybe another tune-up, and then he's going to retire. I'll bet the house that that's what's going to happen. Only be, And that's if he doesn't lose any of those fights. Because when you have injuries like this, and just the way that he was describing, the way that he wants to come back and, and such, you know, it's just... um. It's just, it's all suspect. It all leads me to believe that Keith Thurman is injured and banged up a lot worse than any of us know anything about. So, I mean, I don't, I don't want to make excuses for my man Keith because I am a fan of his, but not enough to make no motherfucking excuses. You know what I mean? You out here moving like a bitch. I'm going to have to call you a bitch. But in my opinion, I don't think he's moving like a bitch. I just feel like he's moving like an athlete who's hiding an injury. You know, I mean, that's what it feels like to me. It's just the circumstantial evidence, in my opinion, points to that. It's more likely, in my opinion, that Keith Thurman is secretly injured badly and really contemplating retirement than it is for me to believe that he just reached his peak, got married, got fat, basically on some high side type shit. You know what I mean? Just got fat while everybody else starving and then stopped giving a fuck. I don't believe that. You know what I mean? I don't believe that because, to be honest, without boxing, you know, I mean, Keith Thurman is a star, but he's a star because of boxing. You take away boxing, he may still be a star, but you're not the same kind of star. You know what I mean? You're just not. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how much he give a fuck about fame and all that extra shit. Maybe he don't care. Hopefully he don't care. Hopefully he don't because then he'll make the right decision when it comes time to make the right decision as it relates to his career. And I hope he does that. But most of these guys... They actually care about the fame. They love the money. You know what I'm saying? Keith Thurman reminds me. He's, he puts me in the mind of a guy who t- take care of his money. So I don't think he'll have no financial issues. But it's shit. You, you can always use more money. You know what I mean? <laughs> and when we talk about M's, at this point in his career, he just got to the M point. You know what I mean? You don't usually stop it there. You know, you want to keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. You know, get as much money as you can out this game because this is the kind of game that can one punch can change your life. So and that, that's another reason why I don't I'm not hating on Keith like that, because I know one punch can change your life and you don't want to go into big fights, especially fights with large implications as far as titles and, and money and prestige and shit like that. Like You can't go into a fight with Errol Spence that's going to change your life one way or the other coming out of it if you have a pre-existing injury and you're not going to be 100 percent. I can understand not wanting to take that fight under those circumstances, so. I'm not giving Keith Thurman a pass because he's held the belt for over a year. I think he made the right move in relinquishing one of them at least. You know, hold on to the other one because you're going to need a bargaining chip when you come back to the table eventually. But shit, man, you're holding up other people's careers when you do things like this, you know. And that's the one thing, that's the that's the uh, gift and the curse about boxing, you know. In boxing, when it comes to injuries, people don't say shit. It's mum's the word. Nobody says anything about these injuries. But then the, the drawback to that is you have situations like this that can occur, you know, where motherfuckers in the hell the belt for damn near two years and he ain't fought nobody, don't got nobody on the schedule to be fighting. And then you got other motherfuckers who are worthy challengers who should at the very least have their shot or, you know, be able to reign their reign as champion, get their reign as champion. And it's just a, a big clusterfuck, you know. But I kind of understand from the outside looking in, and that's my viewpoint on it, you know. If you have a different viewpoint, I'm sure you'll express that in the comments section. But even still, man, I, I just can't see Keith Thurman being a coward. I don't give a fuck what people say about the man. He never was a coward before. Now nah, he's a coward. I just... 
I don't think so. I think uh, Keith might have got really hurt in the Colazzo fight, maybe. And then maybe a couple other uh, big fights exasperated those injuries or maybe even caused some different ones. And he just, he frailed in a motherfucker, man. He liked the welterweight David Hay, man. This motherfucker get injured before every fight, you know. <laughs> you just can't trust that kind of shit, man. But I do get it. You don't want to jump out the fire pan into the fire without no motherfucking fire, flame retardant kevlar on you know what i mean you know you got to jump in that motherfucker ass naked man you know you ain't gonna come out the same you might end up burnt to the crisp and you know that's a no-no so yeah shout out my man keith thurman shout out errol spence shout out sean porter shout out danny garcia shout out the whole welterweight division but yeah that's how i feel man keith thurman not no pussy i don't think he no pussy i don't think he no coward you know i just think it's a lot going on behind the scenes we not privy to so i'll leave it at that i'm on to the next one i'll let y'all 100